Well, new numbers show a record 11.1 million Americans were victims of identity theft last year, costing more than $54 billion. It's not just that receipts with credit card numbers that you have to worry about anymore. It's those sophisticated phishing schemes and spyware that's many times to blame. So what can you do to minimize your risk? Our gadget guy, Steve Van Dinter, joins us with a, a USB Hello. gizmo. Right? Yes, we got a USB gizmo What do we here? got here, Steve? Well, you know, those of us who shop online, and that's many of us, mm -hmm. will probably never throw our credit card numbers onto a website unless we see that padlock in the corner indicating it's a secure site. But did you know that you can actually have your identity stolen even if that padlock is visible in the window? Probably not. Right. Um, well, that's because your computer can get infected with something called spyware, and this is software that can actually come along for a ride when you download software on the Internet or maybe visit some unsecure sites. It'll sit and hide on your computer and essentially watches what your keys are typing and then relays them back to, then to the person who wrote this program, mm -hmm. so that's your credit card information, that's right. your username and passwords, could be your uh, expiration number, even your secure ID number that's on the back of your card. Those are all sent to those thieves. Wow. So how do you, what can you do to protect yourself, right? Well, we could probably do something with today's gadget, and that is called the Smart Swipe. Um, it's in addition to using your antivirus software. This takes it a little one step further, and essentially what this does is it plugs into your computer and lets you swipe your actual physical credit card through this machine, and it'll transfer all of your payment information to your computer securely, so uh, it's not recording your keystrokes. So again, the, the software programs, they can t detect what you're pressing Exactly in. what you're typing. They right. might, not, might not know what website you're at, but it doesn't matter if they're getting your credit card, your expiration oh. date, and your uh, oh. ID number that's uh, associated with it. So, so how, do you, how do you use this, right. right? Okay, so you take this USB device, you plug it into your computer, you load some software. It, it ex that way it can translate what I'm scanning through here to the computer. Then you visit a website. So here we're up at, uh, I'm about to make a purchase here today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click uh, Save and Continue. We're going to go to the next page. You see I got the padlock up here in the upper right-hand corner. Oh, now it wants me to sign up for an account. I was doing a guest account before. <laughs> this I had. You don't want to give out your credit you card number know, to everybody. No, exactly. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to continue to the payment page, and it's going to ask me once again to fill out the information. So while I do, I'm going to explain to you what's going to go on here. Essentially, so you, you still have to fill all the information you do have out. To do the this. swipe doesn't right. do that Right. It's for not you. going to do that for you. But what it is going to do is obviously uh, maintain some of that uh, credit card information sure. that we talked about. So I don't have to worry about um, scanning, uh, you know, essentially typing that in and having that visible. Then. I got into the phone number. over there. there we go. go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit next. What it's going to do, bring me to the payment page. Now it's going to notice, if you notice up there, boom, it says smart. Don't type, swipe, it says, right? Sure. So I take my credit card, I swipe it through the little machine, and it's going to go ahead and recognize this payment information if I scanned it properly. It's like, it's like what you use at the, it's, the it's people exactly use at the store. It's exactly what you use they at the store, exactly. In. So I go ahead and hit it. Try one more time, yeah. There, there you, you go. go. Now it's so it's going to go ahead. There it is. Got my information. I go ahead and hit. It says this information correct. Obviously, it's got it blocked out now. Some of this in here. Yeah. I hit yes, and it's going to go through now and automatically fill out this payment information. You see, protected, protected, protected. It so blocks it's not, it. I don't even see out, it. Yeah, it's but I know that it's all there. And there's my card, and it's going to go. Obviously, it's not showing the actual information there either. Um, but it has then protected my information where those padlocks were, nice. and I could go ahead and continue and make those payments. That so, is a great idea. Yeah. It is a great. What, uh, what did I, you think of it? I thought, you know, overall. I thought it was uh, an interesting gadget. Mm -hmm. I gave it a three out of five possible bars of reception. What I like about it, it makes your shopping experience online even safer experience, especially for those who may be unsure if your computer's been compromised by spyware or other threats. It's also very easy to use. Like I said, all you got to do is slide your card, and it'll then ask you to show the credit card expiration date. Go here. If it, if it doesn't know exactly where to put the stuff on the form, it'll ask you and show a dummy credit card that you can actually click on and say, well, this is where my credit card number goes. Here's where the expiration was. What I wasn't as impressed with was the fact that you have to use Internet Explorer for it. There's no mm. other browser, browser that's currently supported. And I typically use Google Chrome or Firefox, so that meant me jumping out to make a payment and going to a different site. Um, and you do need to actually have this device physically attached to your computer. So if you're uh, an online surfer from the couch like I like to do, you actually had to go and get it out of your bedroom plug it in. Um, but, you know, if you're looking for a way to just reduce your risk of, of identity theft or just tired of typing in those payments by hand, this device could make a pretty nice companion. It retails yeah. for $89. Um, again, though, very, how, how much easier could it get oh, than swiping your credit card? Oh, it's great. Swipe right? it in. Yeah. yeah. Great idea. Easy All stuff. right. Thanks, great Steve. Great advice. You're Thanks, welcome. Steve. Good to see you. Hello, everyone. Help hide my messy house and my crazy kids.